You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. I'm joined this week by entertainer and Elvis impersonator, Ron Short. And uh, thank you, Ron, so much for being with us. And oh, you're welcome. I have to tell you, I feel like I'm sitting right next to Elvis. Oh, thank you. That's nice to hear. So, okay, so you um, lived in Hawaii. You've, yes. You're a California resident, but you are in Michigan now and just won a big honor last, uh, last week. Yeah, in the city of Clarkston, I got uh, received the award for Entertainer of the Year. And you didn't even know you were up for it. Nope, I did not. And so uh, you have a couple of different things that you've, music is at your heart, right? Definitely. So yeah. tell us a little bit about how this all started for you. Well, um, I've been a musician all my life. Started playing drums when I was 13. Played a lot of high schools and even clubs where I was uh, too old to be in the bar on the break, so I'd have to wait outside. Really? <laughs> yeah, I was when I was 13 and 14, yeah. So I did that for many years and then started doing little Elvis, Stray Cats, Billy Joel with bands and country mm -hmm. and a mix of just about everything was really the oldies were really comfortable um, so over time people had me do a little more Elvis here and there and then uh, at some point I took a break and then karaoke became big and I went out to a few clubs and friends say hey come out and sing and over the course of doing that over a period of six to eight months um, I got asked by a couple different entertainment companies that Gave me the card, said, if you'll do Elvis, we'd like to book you. Mm. So I tried that out. And you were shocked by that? I was, yeah. I was like, because I didn't have the sideburns or anything. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you were even a little bit hesitant about, yeah. about doing this. So tell me why. Well, because I'm a business executive. <laughs> I, I owned a game company in the Silicon Valley, and, and I was a tech guy. I was also in computer forensics. And so you, I was afraid it would be um, a bit cheesy, possibly, mm -hmm. because there's a wide variety of Elvises, we all have our own way. Right. You got you got a, the really amazing ones and the mediocre, and then some interesting. I'll just say. <laughs> How many Elvis impersonators do you think there are across the world? Do you I know? believe I've heard over fifty thousand. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I did an interview with Bob Levy of the Washington Post years ago, mm -hmm. and he threw something out like that. And I was like, I had no idea. Yeah. So that's pretty amazing. So you are one of fifty thousand. Yeah, it could even be more now. I have right. no idea, yeah. Right. So how do you feel when you go out there um, on stage and... I just have fun. It's very natural. The funny thing is I, people always say, oh, you must have studied Elvis's moves. I was just moving and shaking just naturally. Right. And of course, I went and watched some videos say, oh, you know, Elvis got some... Elvis just had that great... A uniqueness, right? Yeah, it, it, he just moved his hand and, you know... Right. So, it, you know... It, I worked on that a little bit to get some more of the, the those really um, iconic moves that he does. Okay. And that was fun. And then the way I ended up really doing, uh, to answer, finish answering your question was, um, I got married and went to Hawaii on my honeymoon, and they asked if I wanted to be doing an Elvis show out there. And so um, two weeks later, we moved it after we got back to the Bay Area in California, we mm -hmm. moved to Hawaii and lived there seven years. So seven years yeah. in Hawaii yeah. with your own show. Yep. And then you have a kind of an interesting segue because Bruno Mars, yeah. his father, yeah. you know, right? Yeah. So yeah. tell me about that Peter connection. Peter Hernandez. Okay. Which is Bruno's real name. You know. Okay. So um, um, so Peter, or Peter Hernandez has a band called The Love Notes. And so I actually was brought in as an additional Elvis for the Blue Hawaii show. And then I started doing more and more nights, you know, over the period of six years. And then I ended up getting my own show called Blue Hawaii Nights, which was on the main strip in Waikiki. But um, while I was doing the other show, Bruno Mars' dad in the Love Notes would open up, um, his band would open up, and then uh, we'd, some mornings during the week, Bruno's dad and myself and one of the other members, we'd go around and do what they call the briefings in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, so really early, you'd go to the briefings, wake up, boy trying to wake the voice up early in the morning. Right, right. And w he'd sing back up while I did, you know, we do Don't Be Cruel and Love Me Tender and that and get the people, you, you excite the people and get them to go to the show at night. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a tease that you were doing. Yep. Got you it. compete with the luau's. You get them oh, to got buy it. the tickets. You know? Okay. Yeah. Um, so then you said something interesting about Bruno Mars as well. Oh, that he's the youngest. Yes. Elvis. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that uh, Bruno's the youngest Elvis impersonator ever. He did the... Um, uh, movie Honeymoon Las Vegas with Nicolas Cage. Interesting. He was a three or four year old Elvis in that movie. Really? Yeah. Uh, that was, yeah, and James Caan and Jer uh, Sarah Jessica Parker was in there. And then he went from that to 
um, Michael Jackson. He became, then he transitioned. Mm -hmm. I would never try Michael Jackson. <laughs> but Bruno's so um, diverse and, and, I mean, it's amazing. He, he can do such a wide range of things. But you can too. So you do, what other yeah. impersonations do you uh, do? Johnny Cash, okay. Neil Diamond, Roy Orbison, and occasionally I do James Bond. I thought I saw that somewhere. But it's Ron Bond. <laughs> <laughs> so out of all of them, obviously Elvis is your favorite? or like? Elvis is probably my favorite because it's just very easy and natural and fun. And it brings back great memories. I mean, they all do, but Elvis has more of a sentimental connection with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They remember, you know, a lot of things. The day was past and just certain songs from anniversaries and weddings or high, high school back in the day, you know, they remember that, all the controversy. You right. Know? And just people will get very teary-eyed when I'm singing sometimes and, and they'll just, it's just uh, a lot of fun. Okay, so the do. anticipation has been killing us. Let's, yeah. uh, let's hear you sing something. Okay, I'm going to do something from uh, the movie Blue Hawaii, just throw a little one on ukulele. Okay. Called No More, just a verse here really quick. It's, boy, early in the morning. I There's know, a, it's early. No more Do I see the starlight caress your hair No more Feel the tender kisses we used to share I close my eyes, it clearly my heart remembers A thousand goodbyes could never put out the embers Darling, I love you so oh, There we go. <laughs> All right, thank you. That was great. Um, so you. tell me, okay, so you have a, you mentioned gaming. Yes. Um, so you kind of do have this double, not a double life per se, but... Yeah, uh, I guess you could say that. Right? Yeah. I mean, almost. It is, yeah. I do a lot of both. Yeah. Okay, so uh, your gaming company yes. is going to be back up and running. It is. I had a lot of games back in the day. I helped a lot of game companies. I uh, competed with Disney and Broderbun. I actually used to have a game that was in Best Buy and all over the place. It was a top 100 in PC magazines. I think I was way back quite a few years ago. Got in Forbes magazine, too. Mm -hmm. Um, which was, uh, and so we did really well. It was all over, won five parent teacher award type uh, things for the game. And my new, that was called Gizmo Gypsies. And now um, my new company is called, because we can't use, you know, right. change company names, right. uh, it's called Hunka Bunga Games. So, so that website's about to go. It's Elvis ring to it, doesn't it? It does, it a does. Hunka Hunka. Right, right. Hunka Hunka baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we have that to look forward to. But if anyone, you know, holidays are coming up. Everyone loves entertainment, good Christmas parties. Uh, people, are you still available? Or are you, I am available. I, my schedule's really full. Um, I'm doing typically on average three to five shows a week. Um, sometimes it's all. Sometimes it's all three. Um, I've got in two weeks. I'm doing. Uh, Elvis, Neil Diamond, and Johnny Cash on the same oh, show. Oh, <laughs> And then the week after that, I'm actually doing a country show where I look completely different and do okay. all the legends, kind of. So, But I'm mostly known as Elvis. And uh, so I am available. Uh, so if people can call. Um, luckily, the shows are typically shorter. Mm -hmm. So I can fit in. I've done up to three shows in one day. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So how do people get in touch with you? Um, you can call uh, my... My number, my main number, it's probably best to call my Hawaii number, which is 808-772-3488. Again, that's 808-772-3488. Okay. Or they can call, you know, let's stick with that one. That's okay. easiest, yeah. Okay. Or they can go to ronshortentertainment.com or Ron Short Entertainment Facebook. Okay. And that'll show, uh, you'll see me on Gig Masters, and you can even find my schedule on Gig Masters. Okay. So I have some public shows, a lot of private shows. Perfect. Thank you so much. Well, it has been a pleasure. Uh, I wasn't around when Elvis was around, oh, okay, so yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to say that. But, um, yeah, but no, yeah. you know, you're right about the memories and everything that it yeah. evokes. It's pretty cool, and it has been a, such a pleasure to meet you. Well, thank you. You too, Brooke. Thanks. Nice to talk to you. Nice thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> and once again, we've been joined by Elvis impersonator Ron Short. Thanks for watching this segment of The Splash. To watch the entire show or other segments, catch us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us every week on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM.